I posted a video showing you how you can create this employment application form in Word. This is the video right here on YouTube. It was posted two weeks ago. Going down to the comment section, I have this comment. Please kindly make a video on how to create this form in Google Docs. Thank you. I've not replied to the person yet and my intention is to reply the person with the video on how to do that. So to create this employment application form in Google Docs, all what I need to do is go over to a new tab. I will just exit out of here. Then in the search bar, I search for docs.google.com. I hit enter and it will bring me to this interface. The next thing I do is choose a blank document. I can just give it a title here. So I call it employment. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is enter the name of the company which I'm designing the form for. In this case, I'll enter Diku Pages Web. Hit enter, maybe another enter, and I type in employment application form. Hit enter. Next, I'll go ahead and insert a table. Let's refer to our form. So I'll need a table of five rows four columns going back to google docs i go over to insert hover on table then i come in here first of all i get four columns then i go down to get six rows like this i click on it to insert the table in the first row i'm going to go ahead and merge it so i highlight everything i can go over to format then i go down to table Right here, I have merge cells. Just click on it to merge them up. I'll enter personal information. The next row, I highlight everything and I'm going to go ahead and merge them. If I don't want to go over to format, I can easily right click on the highlighted cells. Then I go ahead and click on merge cells, which is simple to do. I'll enter name. Next, I enter address, followed by city followed by state and finally I have zip code the next two cells here I'm going to make them I highlight right click click on my cells then I enter phone in the next cell I'll highlight them up my cells then I enter email this next cell I highlight it I make everything then I enter if selected for employment. I enter in this text. I press enter. As a matter of fact, I didn't need this row. So I'll just select it. Right click. Then I go ahead and delete row. What I can also do here is say yes. Then I provide some space and say no. I'm going to go ahead and insert a square shape right here so that users can tick their answers. Make sure you have the insertion point where you want the shape to appear. I click on insert. I hover on drawing, click on new. Then I go ahead and click on shape. Shapes and I'm going to choose rectangular shape. Make sure you draw a square like this. It is having a feel. I don't need the feel. I select it back, drop down the arrow here, and say transparent. I think this is cool. So I'll just go ahead and save and close. And it is inserted. Maybe I can reduce the size a bit. What I can also do is select it. I can right click, click on copy. Then I go ahead and paste it in here. Click on paste. Perfect. Now I'm done with the first table. I exit from the table, press enter, and I'm going to insert the next table. Here I need a table of three rows, three columns. So I go over to insert table. I have my three rows, three columns here. I make everything here. Then I enter position. Here I enter position, you are 
applying for here i have available start date and finally i have desired pay in here i enter employment desired as a matter of fact i'm going to highlight all these then i go ahead and make them i press enter then i enter full time provide some space part time provide some space then i say temporary i still have this box copied to my clipboard i'll just go ahead and paste it in here awesome i exit from this table i'm done with it hit enter the next table i have six rows and five columns going back to our design i click on insert table i have five columns then six rows i'll make everything on top then i enter education in the first cell here I enter school name followed by location next I have years attended followed by degree and finally major I'm done with the table I exit from it hit enter then I go ahead and insert the final table I have six rows four columns I go over to insert table six rows four columns I highlight everything on top right click mesh cells then I enter references in the first cell here I have name title company and then phone And we are done inserting our tables now let's start formatting our work i'll highlight the first text here i increase the size i'll make it bold i'll highlight this one just make it bold personal information here is going to be bold i'll change the font color to white and then the background color of the cell is going to be maybe this green perfect so this is how it will look like next i'm going to reposition the columns here so i'll just hold this one take it here hold here bring it there and finally this okay here i think i needed to make three cells from here and not two cells for the email so what i can do here i'll just right click on the whole of this cell then i click on split cells it's going to be two columns then i click on split all right so i can now make the whole of these right click merge cells i close the space here now if you look at this table inside every single cell there's a space apart from the title you see name we have space there and that is where the actual text will appear so let's provide that so i click in here press enter click here press enter and finally press enter and, and i now have those spaces so next i work on this table just select the text i'm going to go ahead and make it bold the color is going to be white and the background will be this green here as well i make sure i provide some space maybe i can position the columns here like this next is this table i select education bold font will be white the background is going to be this green i can reposition the columns here perfect finally i have references bold font color will be white 
background green i can reposition the columns like this finally going up let's go ahead and insert our logo so i just click anywhere on top with my insertion point next i go over to insert image upload from computer i have my logo here selected and i click on open at the moment moving it will be difficult as you can see so what i'm going to do is make sure it's selected then i click on this icon here that is in front of text and i can now move it to whichever location i want i will reduce the size to make it fit well now if i scroll down you see that i have the design in two pages meanwhile i don't need it to be in two pages so what i can do is just click right here on top now if i hover here you see i have these two headed arrows and you see top margin i just click on it then i move it up like this let's scroll down to see okay we still have two rows going down similarly i can do the same thing at the bottom here bottom margin then i move it down everything is now in one page meanwhile we don't need this separate page so what i can do maybe i'll close the space here like this going down we now have everything in one page meanwhile our logo is obstructing the first table so i'll just decrease the size like this and now i am done designing my employment application form using google docs so the challenge on how to create employment application form in google docs has been accepted and fulfilled for more form design ideas make sure you stick around to watch any of these two videos on your screen right now keep watching and i'll see you inside any of the videos